Madam Biggers, I'm here with Matt Sophomore, uh, Darwin Weiss. Darwin, tonight, five steals. You had four in the first half. I thought, really, in the second half, what, what was the determining factor for you guys? Just the speed tonight, not only yourself, but the guards in general. You guys played great defense and, and really forced them into to some turnovers and bad shots. What, what was just kind of the key tonight for you guys? We had to keep the energy up, you know, as a team, because it kind of failed in the beginning. So once we got it going, you know, we played better. You know, as we grew, you know, once, once it got to the second half, we really turned it up, and, you know, got it done, got the, got the W. You're a sophomore, so obviously, you know, you're a guy that people count on to lead. I mean, but right now, what, what do you like about, about you guys through five games? Um, how much we have grown, you know, since, uh, you know, preseason. When we started shaky, we, you know, we have gotten better, so now we're on a three-game winning streak, and I, you know, plan to continue on. You know, with the energy and you know, how does it? How does the speed of the backcourt this year kind of compare a little bit to to maybe last year? What what you saw? Because I mean, with you, Blake, Ray, it just looks like an incredibly quick backcourt. Yeah, it is. Um, last year we kind of you know was a half court team. This year now we can you know run it, run it, run it. <laughs> <laughs> Add, adding a little bit of hat to the interview. Dar Darwin tonight, I mean, and we, you and I had talked about this a little bit. It, it looked like in the first half, 12-point lead, maybe you guys were right there on the brink. You guys got it up to like 9 or 10 in the mm -hmm. second half a little bit. Was, you, guys were just a, you guys were a couple possessions away from, from really kind of running away with it. How did, Mus how did Muskegon manage to keep it closer? They, they kind of started to fight late, but, you know, they really did. You know, they, they started to fight at the end, so we had to, you know, match their intensity because ours was, you know, kind of falling, so we had to keep it going. I was asking Terrence, too, it looked, it looked like lengthwise. How, I mean, is this one of the longer teams that you guys have played? Definitely. The tallest team we played, for sure. What are, what are some of the challenges of, of that? We have to defend. We had to, you know, try to pressure their point, you know, their guards. You know, making it hard to get it in to inside. So we, we did that in front of the post, and it, it kind of paid off. My, my final, well, actually, two final questions. How, when you look at right now, just going back to the guards, I mean, yourself, Ray, Blake, where do you see this group going? I mean, as far as not only, I mean, defensively, speed wise, I mean, just offensively, where, where do you see you guys going as guards? I think we can lead this team, you know, to win the national championship, definitely. Coach was just piggybacking on that um, in the uh, locker room. He was saying he planned on winning the championship this, team, this year with his team. And I think we can do it, definitely. With the guard play that we got and the bigs, we can, we can do it. My final question for you, Darwin. What plans for the holidays, Steve? You know, get, giving you guys a little bit of a breather. I think you guys get back uh, Monday night. What, what are the plans for the, for the holiday break? Got to get home to the family, you know, relax. Uh, got to still work. I'm going to work out too, but the family, I got to go see the fam. That's all. Excellent. Again, Darwin Weiss, sophomore. Five steals tonight, four in the first half. A, a, a major part tonight to the Bears, kind of clamping down defensively and coming away with that 73-62 win over Muskegon. Appreciate your time, Darwin. Thanks. Thanks.